still thought I needed it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump. Look out. <laughs> Saved your life. You didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, when the uh, Indians came in and uh, captured the Spanish and the Mexicans taking gold out of the mine, they killed the two leaders, who was called the uh, three leaders. One was called Black Whiskers, and the other two, they just called them Spanish cohorts. And the, and the Indians that were slaves, the Mexicans, brought those three up here and they buried them in this spot right here and buried their personal belongings with them. Then he erected some crosses right here. And they stood for years and years and years. And when John Young was up here, when he was mining up here in the, in the or running cattle up here in the, in the 30s, he found that cross. And they dug into it and they found a rusted gun, some other trinkets, but the bones were long gone. Hmm. And so... That would make that an old burial site, right? With the <clears throat> Yeah, so when we came up, Dale Rose and I, we, we dug around in here and tried to find stuff. We, we found bits of bone and, I mean, there was nothing there. But yeah. the reason we went here is because LaVar Schertz, who was John Young's cousin that was doing the work down here on the backhoe, he's the one who brought us and showed us where it was. Cause oh. By that time, John Young had died. Yeah. So this is where they buried those three Spaniards right here. Wow. Hmm. As you know, the Spaniards, or the Indians, run the Spaniards off, you know. But he told the Indians and the, and the Mexicans, don't come back, because if you do, we'll kill you. Well, they waited around here and hung out, like I said in my book. Well, they came back, got into the mine, and started hauling the gold down into that big meadow, and that's where the Indians went in and massacred all of them. Oh, yeah. Then they got, brought the gold back in and put it behind the door and threw a, a elk robe over the top of them. That's what's in there now. That what's still been in there, what John Young was going after, what everybody's yeah. been going after. So it was the so. Indians that sealed it away. Yeah. Yep, they brought it back into the mountains. Did they build that wooden door, you think, Steve? The was Spanish that? did that. So they just used what the Spanish already constructed. And, yeah, and John John Young said it was a slab door made from slab timber. Had a huge lock on it. Like and the hinges were made out of leather. Well, Johnny McBee, well, actually, um, John McBee and, and Tommy Jewell, who was a huge Indian, who was 12 years old when he was up here when the Indians killed the Spaniards. Yeah. They talked about getting behind that door. Well, they got behind the door and felt they could feel the yeah. bars of gold. It's so they know they're there. <clears throat> Which, uh, hence why we're all up here still going. And of course, there's a curse on the mine. So if you get down here and start digging, pretty soon you forget why you're there and you start digging off in some other country. Did that happen and to you? That's what happens to all those guys that go, do it because they have greed in their hearts. Yeah. And that's what happened the last bunch. They couldn't go the right direction. They forget which way they were supposed to go. And so they get they, disoriented down they'd there. They come huh? in and they'd say, "I'd say, what are you going off that way for?" Well, I don't know. <laughs> you need to go that way. They get back <laughs> in. They go that way. So the curse oh. on the they believe the curse first of all. So is is that curse just for the greedy person? Right. Or let's say we had good intentions to pres Okay, let, 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 let's just say this: treasure hunters are treasure hunters, right? But at the same time, we're more of historical tre treasure hunters that, that preserve history and stuff like that. Do you feel like, Steve, if we, let's say we went after her one day, do you feel like we would be? Well, no, if you have the right, if you have the right heart about anything, about any type of treasure or anything like that, you have the right mindset, you don't have a curse. I mean, the people that believe in those curses are greedy. Yeah. And, and uh, they're not going to be able, it, and another thing too, the Indian says that your papooses will die and your, and your women will be hungry. Well, the, everybody that was in there, exactly what happened. They had deaths in the families, and they all hungry. They all started starving, didn't have to work. Hmm. So isn't that a kind of a curse? Yep. So yep. That's wild. You know? And it comes along with greed, like what you said. Yeah. 